In a previous presentation we sketched the profile of a gear tooth with Fusion 360. We had completed it with a few arcs and radii of circle in order to allow the subsequent modeling of a gear wheel. That's what we're going to do now. We start here from this sketch and use it as a reference to draw a new sketch from which we will actually model the gear. On this new sketch we project some radii and arcs of circle recovered from the first sketch, more precisely the radius of the root circle, the radius of the base circle, the radius of the outside circle, as well as an arc of the root circle. We also recover the sample points on the circle involute. We draw an arc on the outside circle. Let's draw a spline on the sampled points of the circle involute. Be sure that the spline is tangent to the radius of the base circle from which it originates. The sketch is now finished. We model a gear with 17 teeth. This value is defined by the Z parameter prepared in the previous presentation. An extrusion is carried out from the sketch which generates a half tooth and a half space between two teeth. Let's add a fillet. We duplicate the volume by mirroring and combine the two resulting volumes into one. We complete the gear by duplicating the volume using the circular pattern. The number of repetitions is the number of teeth, the Z parameter. The purpose of this talk being didactic, we deliberately omit to model one tooth of the gear. This will allow us to better compare our gear against those proposed by the Fusion 360 Spur gear add-in. Let's now model three gears using this add-in provided by Fusion 360. We will take care to use the same module and pressure angle as in our parameters. Let's start with a 17 tooth gear. We model now a 29 tooth gear.
and we model a 47 tooth gear. I like to use prime numbers as a value. Winky face. Now that we've asked Fusion 360 to model 3 gears for us, let's take a closer look at the 17 tooth gear and compare it with our gear wheel, which has been fully modeled using basic tools in the software. The value 17 has been assigned to our Z parameter, the number of teeth. The differences between the tooth profile of the two gears should be minimal. Let's appreciate and admire, the profiles are superimposed identically. At most, we can notice a difference in the root circle and thus in the detendum. I suspect here an error in the spur gear add-in of Fusion 360. The detendum is normalized to the value of the module multiplied by 1.25, which is correct in our parameters. Now let's compare our gear wheel with the 47 tooth gear wheel provided by the Fusion 360 add-in. Our gear wheel contains 17 teeth, the value of the Z parameter. So we just need to change this value to 47. This change induces a complete redraw of our gear wheel by Fusion 360, the result is immediately visible. However, at the moment 647 we can see a small error that the software reported. The fillet between the tooth and the root circle is missing. In fact Fusion 360 did not find the edge on which it was asked to build a fillet. The same error will occur for any gear with 42 or more teeth. From this value the root circle radius is larger than the base circle radius. This induces a geometrical change in the profile of the gear tooth in the initial sketch. Irrespective of the missing fillet caused by the change in the Z parameter by a value above 42, the two 47 tooth gears are comparable in the same way as the 17 tooth gears were. Let's go to the 29 tooth gear modeled by the Fusion 360 add-in and compare it again with our gear whose Z parameter will be adjusted to, I'll let you guess. 29 29 being less than 42, the redraw of the gear wheel does not cause any more error and the fillet is there again. We can still observe the small difference in the tooth root. The most important thing remains the tooth profiles, which again blend together perfectly. The work carried out in the previous talk, in which the profile of a gear tooth was sketched using the geometrical construction of a circle involute, is conclusive. In addition, we were able to parameterize the basic sketch in such a way that the number of teeth and other parameters, such as the module, can be changed and selected after modeling the gear wheel. To prove it, let's finish this presentation by modeling a final 13 tooth gear viaduct the Fusion 360 add-in. We will, again, compare our gear to it by adjusting our Z parameter once again. Parameter Z is adjusted to the value 13. The miracle happens, the teeth of both gears are compatible as expected. Thank you for your attention.
and congratulations to the creators of the Fusion 360 software that allows us to design, through parameterization, parts that can be adjusted afterwards. Among many many other things. Smiley face.